welcome back to our Final Cut Pro 10.1 video tutorial. Now, if you've been following us, you've come a long way. You've learned how to import your clips from your SD cards. You've also learned how to trim them and send them into your storyline and add a piece of music to it. Today, what I'll show you is how to add transitions to make your cuts more smooth. I'll also show you how to fade in and fade out your music so that it doesn't look like the music has been chopped off suddenly. And also, I'll show you how to share your video clips to social media like YouTube or Facebook. Alright, let's begin. Now, before we really get down to it, let me talk to you about some of the special features of Final Cut Pro. Did you notice that we did not have to save our work? And if you go down to the file menu over here and look at the commands that are available to us, there is no customary save command. What does that mean? It means that Final Cut Pro saves your file as you go along. Now, this is something a lot of us have to get used to. When you go back to your other applications, you've got to remember to save, save, save. Not every application is like Final Cut Pro. <laughs> okay, now let's continue further by looking at some of the uh, Final Cut Pro interface. Over here in my viewer, this is my viewer where I get to see all my stuff, my final edit. Okay, over here, I have a little switch here which allows me to toggle the quality between better quality or better performance. If my video is jerking or my computer is not as fast as I'd like it to be, I can choose better performance over here. And when I play back, when I do a playback on my edit, I notice that it's playing much smoother than before. Simply because it has sacrificed a little bit of quality, my video doesn't look as good, but the playback is much smoother. If the footage is too high resolution for your computer to handle, or maybe your computer is a little bit slow, you can always go over to the tab here and choose better performance. I will click back on better quality. Now, let us have a look at this part of our viewer. Now, in this area, you get to choose how large you'd like to display your footage or your edit. You could go a little bit bigger. Now, keep in mind that this is actually a full HD video. And Final Cut Pro is not making your video smaller or bigger in size. It's actually just shrinking it down as in reducing the screen size. So this is something you'd like to explore if your screen is a little bit smaller or if maybe your screen is really huge, you'd like to go for 100%. So this is how we choose the display size of our footage or our edit. So let's move along now. I notice over here that my music is longer than my video. So there is a way to shorten my music clip or any clip that is too long. Uh, what I'll need to do is to select the clip in question, like so, and then I'll go to the, the part where I'd like my clip to end, maybe over here using my skimmer. Okay, now you can do it the old-fashioned way. Actually, you can just click on the clip and drag it to shorten it. Or you could do it the easy way, which is to move your select your clip first and move your skimmer over to the part you want it to be shortened to and type alternate or rather hold down alternate right bracket so your clip has been shortened now uh, my timeline is too small so I can zoom in by using the zoom slider over here or I can use the shortcut command minus or command plus uh, remember Final Cut Pro is not making your clips longer or shorter you're just going closer to your clips or going further away okay now maybe i'll just make it a little bit longer now let's have a listen and then i'll pause it here let's have a listen at the end okay so you notice that it ended abruptly your clip your music clip just stopped right there so i will zoom in a little bit more Okay, now, I want to add a fade out to this clip. So to do that, I will go over to the edge of my clip and notice my clip. Notice my mouse pointer changes to this. 
as soon as I go over to this little keyframe over here, it changes to this icon, uh, like a left and right arrow symbol. So I'll just drag that along. That means that this clip, this music clip will be fade out. And then I will play it. Okay, maybe, maybe a little bit longer fade out. So where is that? Yeah, over here. So I'll just click and drag it even more. And now when I play it back, Okay, that looks like a nice fade out and then I will go to the beginning part of my clip and listen to it. Okay, maybe I'd like to add a fade in over here. So I will look for that little keyframe. I'll just drag it. Now go to the end and when I play, there you go. So we've got a very nice fade in and a very nice fade out. Uh, however, over here, the clip ended just like that. It's just a cut to black. So that wasn't very nice. So I'd like to show you how to add in a dissolve. Now over here, I'll show you the transitions browser, which is this little icon here. Now, what the transition browser has is all sorts of transitions for you to put onto your video. I will choose the cross dissolve. Now, transitions only work in the middle of two video clips or at the beginning of a video clip or at the end of a video clip. When two video clips intersect or the beginning of a video clip or at the end of a video clip. So, I'll leave it there and when I do a playback, So you see, we've got a very nice professional fade down or a fade to black of a video and a fade down of a music clip. Okay, I'll click on home to go all the way to the start of my uh, edit. I'll use my cross dissolve at the beginning of my first video clip. So when I do a playback, so it fades up from black and then it fades down to black. So we've got a very nice, very professional looking touch to the start and the ending of the video. The last step for today's tutorial is to show you how to share your videos. Other applications, they, well, other video editing applications, they teach you how to export your video or how to encode your video. Over in Final Cut Pro 10, it's called sharing. So I'll just zoom out. Okay, I've got a video clip on my storyline, I've got a compilation of video clips on my storyline and I like to share this. So I'll go over to my share button over here. I'll click on the sharing and then I have a whole bunch to choose from. I will click add destination. Okay, so we've got add destination over here. So Final Cut Pro has already got a whole bunch of presets here for you to choose from. However, if you're not pleased with any of them you can click on export file so i'll just double click on this and maybe i will call it hello there i'll call it um let's say uh we'll call it just a simple share okay press enter you need to tell final cut pro are you exporting video and audio and then you need to tell it what video codec you'd like to export it out as. Now, the most popular would be H.264. Most popular meaning you can use this for your um, YouTube or your Vimeo sharing or even on Facebook. So we'll choose that and we're done. Final Cut Pro 10 simplifies everything for you. So I'll click this to close. And then now to share it, I'll just click back on my share button. And this is the preset I've already made earlier. I'll click just a simple share. 
and then I'll just wait for a while as Final Cut Pro prepares. Okay, so it's going to export as 1920 1080 at 60 frames per second. I can click on my settings just to make sure that everything is all right. And when I'm done, I'll click next. So this is where you choose the destination where you'd like to share it to. So in my case, I'll click on desktop and then, well, I can call it I can call it my first project and then I'll click Save. So here Final Cut Pro is preparing the encoding, it's preparing the sharing, so it's rendering your project out. Um, you can click on this little icon over here to show that to show the background task. So this is what Final Cut Pro is doing, it is sharing your file. This is the progress. So when this is done, it will launch QuickTime Player and you can play back your file and later on you can share it or upload it to YouTube, Facebook. There we go. So I'll press Command F to play back full screen. So that was today's lesson. When we go to the next lesson, I'll also show you how to color grade some of your footage. Maybe this is a little bit too bright and this is a little bit, well, this is really too bright. I'd like to, you know, make it a little bit darker or uh, bring back a little bit of the sun's uh, orange rays over here. I will show you how to do all of that in the next few tutorials coming right up.